fellow dear friends, lovers of freedom, seekers of justice, please. Um, this video is another very sensitive, very interesting, very, very, very interesting. Not just interesting, it's very important to this our struggle. Very important. That is why I want you to cool down. If you don't have data, save it somewhere so that you will watch it later words or afterwards. And what are we going to talk about here? It will be somehow related to the one I wore this suit, but not this cap. The one I did yesterday. So please, um, share this video. Like it, because as you they like them so, YouTube, they help us, they push them, they publicize them, make many other people come here, see, say, important video, they go on here. So just like it, drop your comment, share it, make sure say you share them to all your friends on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, on um, uh, WhatsApp, on your different groups in WhatsApp, share it on Facebook, just share it, just keep sharing it, make sure you are sharing it. Please, you see this video, if they tell you, or if those one Nigerianist people, come to discourage you, tell you, why do you think this is your Biafra? Say, you not go quite leave this Biafra self, you not go get them. There are things you will tell them. I think this is one thing, if you don't even want to work to the end, take this thing. Tell them that, that you are not going to try to leave that, this Biafra, that you are going to get this Biafra now. Now, if they continue to press, tell them because you have seen different countries who tried different things, stayed even longer than Biafra have stayed in their own freedom pursuit, and they eventually got it when they took the right step. That there are countries you know that took different steps in the past, that were doing one thing in the past, and some of them lasted for almost 70 years, some 62 years, they did the one thing, doing one thing over and over, that until they came to change gear, they took it by force, and it worked. And ask them if they now want to tell you, oh, is it something that they started like Kobo Zodemma told you? That what Ojuku started did not finish, or was Rika continued, and it did not, it did not get ahead. Now he won't come get. Tell him. Tell that person that we are no more with Ojuku. Ojuku did what he could do within his time, and what happened happened. That this time there are a new breed of people that somebody different is in charge. And tell him, tell that person that many things are now playing out for our favor. We now won't make with the talk everything, and I won't make you the tell you everything. We no go tell on everything, but we go give you a little tip of the iceberg. Um, before we tell you that secret, please remember to share this video. Please remember to click on the like button. But for some of you, we will never subscribe to this uh, channel. Please subscribe. But very important, your opinion as you they watch, drop your opinion, whether for or against what we are doing, whether argument. Please just remember to drop your comment but don't forget most importantly to subscribe if you have not and like the video and also share it so like i want to start by telling you um if you are following the dos if you are not following the dos you can see that some of some different people some people who are born originally they are Biafran because of where they are born in the part of the world they are born but they don't believe in what we are doing. We're not fighting them. But some of them who are just uh, political jobbers, because they are benefiting from one chairman, local government chairman, one governor, one senator, and all of that. Now you ask yourself, how many of our population are benefiting from these people? How many are these senators? How many are these uh, politicians? And to what significant is their population against the population of the whole, the rest of the people? Now, the next thing you should ask them is, since that we keep voting in Nigeria, keep we, we keep uh, uh, doing one Nigeria, 
how have it changed? If they ask you, since you keep doing this Biafra, you have not gotten it. Ask them, since we're doing one uh, in Nigeria, every four years we keep voting, like one of the commenters on Channel TV or Rice TV was saying, that we are just practicing uh, votocracy or something. Where we just come, I think that should be one of the canons Lego. Uh, I think that's uh, Mike is a criminal. So, what we're just practicing is a system where just every four years we come to vote, where our votes are very useless. Those people that have been designed by the Western forces and the internal uh, kingmakers to be the leaders to emerge will eventually emerge. And so, in a country where you cannot decide who becomes your leader. Why do you keep expecting that miracle will happen and you get the dividends of democracy? Of course, they are not products of democracy. So why are you expecting to get something from where you did not sow? Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu told you, go grab it, take it by force. And he took it by force. And at the end of the day, he told you, go to court. And you went to court. This is more appalling where you can see that even the security architecture of the state has been compromised when you see the judiciary that is the last hope of the common man is compromised this is a situation where even some of the politicians who think they are one of the best are crying all the people i don't want to keep mentioning go and listen to, no 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 all the people who if you are following the trend of things you watch arise tv channels tv and all the other televisions ait you can see that people who are coming to discuss are telling you that the center is not holding. No, the problem is not that it's not holding now. The problem is, is there any hope of the center holding in the future? And the answer is no. Then if the answer is no, why are you fighting to keep what is not existing? Why are you fighting to defend what is not defendable? Why are you fighting, cracking your brain so much to make excuse for people? When I met Tinubu came to power, he told you he's not coming to blame or they blame him. That he is hitting the ground running from the very first day in office. And eventually, he hit the ground running. If you remember, from the day Tinubu took out of, out of our legends, out of office, that was when the another improved level of impoverishment started in Nigeria. From that very day, it might not be because he wants to impoverish Nigerians. No, it's because the system, like Dele Farotimi and the rest of other commenters who came to uh, Nigerian national televisions to comment, just said that is not designed for Nigerian people. So, if Nigeria is not designed for Nigerian people, why do you want to keep to defending it, defending that place that is not designed for you? Okay, that is not even where we are going. We had our own very uh, person, Mahavichina Sangun. I will play that video here. Where he said that we should stop doing what we are doing. That it's not a time where we come to social media to fight for freedom. That you should check all over the world. Where Have you ever seen where people come to do freedom fight on social media? No, some of you who are not very, uh, who doesn't follow logics very well. You didn't know what he was talking about. Mazin Asanguru, a slave. He was mocking Mazin Nandekano. Now I will prove it so that you don't think I am trying to uh, instigate hate against Nandekano for Kina Asanguru. If you watch that same video, he said there that the Onyendu family are frustrating all their effort. In that video, he even said, from as I said, when they started. First thing is that, one, he is a Muslim. He is a Muslim. He swore, uh, 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 he swore to uh, the, in, in Qatar where he's based. He is a Muslim converted. And he has always antagonized Mazin Nandekano. But it wasn't the very day Mazin Nandekano came on board, came online to say that there are three basic religions that we will follow as Biafrans. From that day, that was when the problem started. That is when he said Judaism, when you said Judaism, Christianity and our traditional religion should be our focal uh, uh, practices of religion. Then that Islam does not fit us, that we will not tolerate it. Then since then, the problem started.
Now, in that same video, he said that you don't come to social media in uh, some Have you ever seen bots? For some of you who were clapping for him, you did not know that a world leader starts when you have a former state. You're not a world leader. You are a freedom fighter. It is very laughable that people who want to be the leaders of IPOB doesn't know they are left from their right. The other day he was arguing, oh, how can you conduct a self-referendum? Oh, how can you uh, uh, have a government in exile? He doesn't even understand any of these things. Government in exile started existing even from, from, from the days of Mao Zedong. Government in exile has been existing. Many countries that eventually become a country that you reckon with today, they got their independence through the pushings from exile. Their government in exile, it was the legal status that, that denies anybody to call you a terrorist because a terrorist doesn't have a legal office. You are recognized, you are registered, you, are, you operate with human face, you follow international regulations and standards of practices, you don't do acts that can be associated with terrorism. Rather, where necessary, you defend your land and your people. And whatever, whatever tool available to defend. That is why the people who are telling you, fight Simon Ekba, fight Simon Ekba. If you hear that same video, what Mazen Asanguru did was, he said that he tried to paint uh, Mazen Nandikano down because that is why everybody is getting clarity that he is in the lead of the conspiracy against Nandikano. Yes, he seems to be the the game, uh, maybe the third person in the game plan, if not the second. He said there that the only new family, especially Kanonta and Fine Boy, that they are going around collecting money from politicians, he did not stop there. He said that the people we are doing what in INMA, Achen, and maybe Afra with them, we don't know they are doing that. One senator, one commissioner, one this told him that in fact he don't want to mention, he don't want to expose because if he exposed, but he was doing exposition in his own way of exposition, he don't want to expose. He already told you that Kanonta, I am not even coming to defend Kanonta, but where you will not get where he was going, he said that even Maone and do not wear. They are making, they are, they are part of the whole thing. Say, Monia Nazazo, Monia Nazazo, go and listen to the video. He said, this is just what he said. He said, Monia Nazazo, that is Nam the Kano himself. And Monia Nazazo, they are all into something cooking, fishing, the arrangement. You don't understand what that means? You don't understand? He is telling you that Mazen Nam the Kano is. It's part of the game to kidnap himself when this man is there suffering for all of us. Another thing he came up with was he tried to paint a very wrong image of our alliances. He said, Oh, and another thing, yes, let me go there before going to now. He said, Nandi Kano himself, our leader, that Nandi Kano lied to be France. He has been lying to be France on the internet, on the social media, that he said he was welcomed in Israel. He said he went to Israel, he was welcomed in Israel. Whereas, that they have the correct information that Tony Ndu was not welcomed in Israel. That he sneaked into Israel and operated under Hyde in Israel. Now I want to ask you, did you not follow Tony Ndu? Did you not follow Tony Ndu's public appearances in Israel? He was in national television, he was in, in different discussions with some politicians in Israel, he was in he made broadcast that signals flew away from Israel. Israel, the most guided, I think, uh, Remedius pointed this out. The most secured place in the world, the most technologically advanced country in the world, that Nandekano, is Nandekano a, a scientist, can dislodge Israel's signal, can dislodge Israel a, a security, a cyber security, and make broadcasts every now and then from Israel and their signal did not intercept it. You know, when you have people who whose brain are closed, even when they want to lie, they want to uh, project their uh, wrong narrative, 
They cannot do it masterfully because they don't know. And he who does not know cannot offer. Because you can only offer what you know, what you have. When he tried to lie that, oh, when they approach Israel, now this is another part I was about going. Now blackmailing Israel. Do you know why he's blackmailing Israel? Because he saw when Simon Ekba uh, and uh, uh, the Prime Minister of Finland was, uh, they had a meeting in Israel. He saw when there was a trip about two times, uh, Simon Ekba and the Prime Minister uh, to uh, Finland went to Israel. He knew there was a movement. That movement, I will explain to you. That's why I said I will give you just a tip of the iceberg. That movement you saw, it was where their envy got serious. Because he now saw that something serious, Simon is taking something very positive a, a, a step now. Before they had to take that trip to Israel, Nigeria already declared its stand. Nigerian government officially and the politicians of Nigeria, of the northern extractions, they made a lot of unguided utterances against Israel in relation to Israeli Hamas uh, war conflict. Once that step was taken by Nigeria, <laughs> we, dear friends, we, we rejoiced. We knew it was God's design. Nigeria came out openly to condemn Israel. The same thing Nigeria did against Russia. Nigeria now came. And this is the same thing that any nation where people who are not prepared for leadership are in charge of leadership. You keep seeing them goofing and endangering the national status, the, the, the international relations of uh, that same country, between the, the, the countries. If you see, Russia had always played along with Nigeria and China. Russia was even part of shooting at uh, Biafrans. Now, when you see some kind of little movement between Burkina Faso and Mazi Simon Ekpa, the uh, young uh, leader, we play our card from here, we play our card from there. Uh, but <laughs> let's not go there, you mustn't know everything yet. Now, you can see that the envy of China Samuel is that he saw that Simon is, after all, identifying with leaders of the world and the people who can do something. He said that Israel, our relations with Israel, first, that Marvin and the cannot keep deceiving us. He did not use it, this word. He did not say keep deceiving us from this particular point now. He said that he don't know why we keep, you know, uh, holding on to Israel. Israel will never help us. Israel, Israel never helped us. And uh, we are closing the opportunity for other countries to have come. Which countries is he talking about? That is what he's talking about. The opportunity for other countries is because that we have already declared that we will not allow their religion to be part of us. If you remember when he came to claim, he now said that that when they went to Israel, they approached Israel for a for a, a, a what do you call it? Cyber uh, for um, when IPOB he is claiming he's part of it, the thing approached Israel. For, eight, for satellites, for our broadcast, that Israel denied us, Israeli company denied us. Now, was China Samoru part of IPOB when Namdekana approached the Israeli company? Was he not on Radio Biafra when we already started using our uh, uh, the signal, the satellites? That China Samuru called to declare his membership around 2013. Was it not live on program when Onyendu was having a program? He called Onyendu, now trying to you know praise Onyendu like he's poli he, as a politician. He was you know pouring and communes on Onyendu uh, his effort that he is so one. In fact, Onyendu has been an exceptional human being. He has done noble. You know he was. How suddenly this same Onyendu? Is the person he's trying to find way to falter his wisdom. Then was a white man now no more. The more he keep trying to blackmail on him, the people keep knowing that he's a traitor. Now he said he was part of the team that went to Israel, the Israel company. You can see that his only lies he know how to do. How can we go with somebody like this? Of course. 
This man is a treacherous being. A lot of things he tried to do there. One, now he said that the religion we are adopting is that important. That is to say, when we are you know, busy embracing Israel, the other people from the other part of the world will not come. They will not come to our aid. Have they ever come to our aid? He said, Israel never did help us and Israel will never. Now ask him, if, you know, what these people who are uninformed, they keep coming to disgrace themselves because they have no information. Was it not Israel and Finland that was busy giving their friends first aid, clothing, food during the war? Was it not Israel that even supported us with man force, manpower? Was it not Israel? That time, remember, the Israel was having war. Israel was having conflict within their region. But they still had to find a way to come to our aid. In international politics, one will always identify with friends. And it is the most dangerous thing to play to play prostitutional relations. What we call prostitutional relations. You don't know the person that is supposed to be your friend, don't know whether you are even for him or for you don't know if you are with him or not. Of course, no country will come out officially now to help you when you have not done anything strong no country will come to help you because where you are still living in the nigerian state you are still in is a sovereign state just like that same country that should come to help you and in the international charters in un conventions there is non uh, 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 alignment or oh, sorry there is non interference there's total recognition of your sovereignty it is when you take a step to, de to deny these people control over you, to declare before the world that the sovereignty of Nigeria is no more uh, 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 binding on you, that you are also now a sovereign power on your own. When you take a vote now, it will be defended. When you go to take the step, when you take the step, your step will be defended. That is what happens. That man, that delusioned man, he wants to teach people when he doesn't know. How can a sovereign state come to interfere in a sovereign state's territory? How can you come to interfere? It is after you have you have denied Nigeria rulership over you. You can declare before the world that you can lead yourself, you are already leading yourself. That you can provide security for yourself, you can defend yourself, then they know you are man enough. You have declared it. Then you take a step. You take a step. The bold step, of course, which must attract casualties. Unfailingly, it must attract casualties. There must be victims of that step. Then that bold step will announce you then the next thing will be you now defending that step. It is where it is obvious to the world that you, that is why for some of you who don't know, like China Samuel, uninformed people, that what happened in 1990 in between Ethiopia and Eritrea, in 1990, the Ethiopians were busy oppressing, of course, their conflict their move for separation lasted over 48 years or thereabout. But it got to the time when they got serious. They first of all said, no Eritrean person will partake in anything, any politics, any political activity of Ethiopia. That was when they, they, they became serious. Now the next thing is, they now begin to push for their referendum. Eventually, referendum was conducted Ethiopia never recognized it. For some of you who doesn't know, some of you have asked me questions on my platform privately. You ask me, this referendum, what is joke? You people are joking. Uh, why do you think, what made you think that Nigeria will allow you with this joke? You call referendum. Of course, Nigeria will not recognize it if you don't know. No, they will not recognize it. That same way Ethiopia did not recognize the referendum outcome of Eritreans. 
Nigeria would definitely not accept it. But what will happen is that that is why it's good to make friends with the Kandus. You will defend it. Nigeria will say no. You will say yes. That we don't care to know what your stake or what your position is. We have decided and our decision is final. We like anyone we have decided then there will be move to show superiority and then there will be counter force it is that point that the sovereign power will collapse once you learn stand to draw that sword the sovereignty of nigeria expires before the international eyes the international community nigerian sovereignty now expired at that moment because this it is now a question of power tussle. Now those people who are your friends will now come in. And remember, whenever you have international relations, there are interests. There are interests. Just like what is playing out between the uh, West and Russia, Western Europe and Eastern Europe. That's Russia here. What is playing out there is that. The Western Europe have sucked Africa for too long and Russia have always wanted to you know be in the limelight too because they are second world power. These other people are doing everything to strip uh, Russia of their chances of retaining that position of uh, second world power, second in command. Russia is fighting to remain relevant. Man, Ukraine was used as a setup to destroy Russia. But Russia is a smart country. Now, what Russia did is Russia began to open their borders, open their doors for African states who are ready to wake up. Now, that's why you saw what happened in Mali in 2001, 2002, I think it was in November, October, November. Now, they ran to these people Money run to them, say, please help us. Uh, France have to leave our border. Now France was played on. Before France could know what was happening, uh, Russia already, the Wagner group was already everywhere around. Now, this trend continued. In just months ago, it happened... Now, you can even see uh, 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 is Ibrahim Torres, every now and then he is entering the Moscow, he is, he is entering Moscow and uh, coming out with something results. Now, if you see, you can see that some friends, the friends of Russia, are also identifying with Torres, uh, with uh, uh, Burkina Faso. Now, because you stood your ground, friends will come by force. Because in the international arena, international politics, there is always an ensuing interest. There is always an interest that will bring one country and the other together. The countries, like places like Russia, their own interest is that um, the Western Europe is feeding too fat. On African soil, they are feeding too fat on Africa. It's not that they are really very productive, but they are feeding fat on Africa. So because they are feeding fat on Africa, that he need to go and play his card to scuttle their chances of continue uh, to continue feeding on African people. That is why during the war, Russia had to cut off their pipeline from supplying a uh, West. That was why within four months of that war, some countries now had to go and mend their trade relations with Russia. Then some of them who cannot mend their relations because they know that there is Africa where they will always suck. They refuse to go and uh, mend their trade relations with Russia. Now Russia said, eh, now Russia had to go and continue to press hard. And that's why you see uh, what, uh, what do you call him? Uh, uh, Afrikandi. You see uh, uh, the Niger guy now 
everybody now waking up because the there is support there is support france cannot just leave a uh, niger people france can always destroy niger but cannot because france knows there is now uh, what i'm gonna have a go now there is a force behind there is a force behind now you can see that now immediately france then the politics i'm still analyzing to you once uh america and once france was pushed out the next week it was in the news america was there american men or servicemen were there and france saw it and france wasn't happy france felt or knows it occurred to them that america was behind this that's why you see what is happening in the red sea now france is not supporting them now in Nigeria, right now, Bola Ahmed Tinubu abandoned the former the people who were you know enjoying all alone because Bola Ahmed Tinubu felt he might be betrayed the way his court case and all of that certificate saga. He felt he might not be well protected by cleaving onto America and uh, return. And he went to France, and this is it has instigated a lot of uh, politics. Now there is there is there is big underground power game game. You know they are dragging they are dragging who will know who will, whose interest will surface, and at the end of the day, it is a chance for us to do what we. It is a very good ground for us. If you don't know, you don't know. If you know, you know. Now, when you hear Odogu saying, I will come back to Africa, is he going anywhere? You know the place he will go. We know. Because there is an enabling ground. Russia wants more friends. But our commitment with Finland will not allow us to make it a bold step. Russia wants more African friends. Russia has been insulted by Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria voted against Russian interests after everything Russia did for Nigeria. On Israel part, Israel will not forgive. Israel doesn't. Israel doesn't forgive when their national security is in, involved. And we are in good hands. We are in safe hands. We will defend our resolve. We will defend our decision. We will defend. If you have not voted, please, like I said, go and check. Make sure if you are using information in that you are in Asia, unless you can use VPN. If you can't, if you don't know that, you know, people who are very informed on ICT that can do all these ones. So if not. Put your information, use phone number of the country you have, country code of the country you are, use the continent where you are. Uh -huh. If you are in Africa, use Africa, and if you use information about Africa, then use the phone number of that particular African country you are, so that you can vote freely. When it comes to passport, use passport that is light. So don't mix up things. Well, like I was saying, when they keep asking you, they will ask you further. But why are you even dreaming? This thing, it will come in your dream. Tell them no, it will happen when they will live to see it. But if they press too hard, they say that it will be like the, tell them it will be like the case in Bible. The prophet had to tell the man that it will happen. A, a, a cup of uh, a, a wheat will be sell, sold for one shekel. But you will not live to see it. You will hear it, but you will not live to eat of it. That's what you have to tell them. Tell them that about so many countries from 1990 did this and it worked for them. It never came on a platter of gold. It came through. There was a lot of bloodshed. There was a lot of sacrifice. It, but in the end, it ended in glory. It ended in joy. In South Africa, between South Africa and Namibia, around March, 21st March, 1990, Namibia people took the bold step. South Africa refused. 
But they pressed harder, they took the bold step and it worked. It worked. And that's in 1990. The, the North and South Yemen decided on their own. That was around May. They said we want to be together. They decided. Remember in Cameroon, between when the Southern Cameroon that was part of NCNC, they decided now that they want to leave Nigeria and uh, incorporate with uh, uh, the Cameroon, the other uh, French-speaking Cameroon francophones. They went. It worked. Decided. This is their decision. They decided. They voted. So why are you telling us that the same plebiscite that held between the Norwegians, Norwegians conducted, we are talking about 18, so the Norwegians in 18 decided on their, the Norwegian plebiscite that they want to, they don't want to be together again, and they don't want to, uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, the, uh, is it um, between them and um, uh, Sweden? They decided. 18 so. 18 so. And you are here in 21st century, asking if referendum is possible, that freedom is not possible. You can't go away from Nigeria. Nigeria as a superpower. Or what? Because you don't know that is interest of the West. If Americans in 17, 1776, and some Americans came away from, broke away from the shackles of British might, a whole Britain, superpower. And you think, we are talking of things, and in 21st century, we are seeing all you can see is impossibility. All up to you. All up to you, all up to you, East and uh, uh, North and South Yemen, Germany also, East and uh, West Germany, in the same 1990, they decided. So, what 1990, you are in 2024, 1991, it continued, Marshall Island, out of Pacific Island, formerly uh, Caroline which was under the trust territory under United States. They got, they said they, they would not stay again and they didn't, they survived, they succeeded. It was not even 1990, I'm talking about here, about uh, 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 Ethiopia and uh, Eritrea. Caesar Slovakia, 1991, January. They were together. The union, they said that so peacefully, their union, they had to break it. Now we have Czech, we have Slovakia. Today they are doing very well. All of them are doing very well. They are doing very well. But they will tell you uh, South Sudan, South Sudan, South Sudan. They are doing perfectly well. So uh, when we talk, uh, so that you will not say we are talking about other countries, other uh, uh, continents, we are talking about Africa here. It happened in Ethiopia. It happened. It was just 2018 they signed their pact. They were part of Portugal, 1993. The same the, the year the Eritreans and Ethiopians uh, uh, dissolved their union. The Czech and the, I mean, um, what do you call it? Even Palo, Palo, 1993, too. Uh, sorry, uh, I think uh, that's 2002. Palo was two. 1994, um, the East Timor was 2002, 2002 East Timor. From Portugal, the uh, uh, Timor, East Timor people carved out. And when you even check the, 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 the referendum, the, uh, 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 the votes, the, the, the people that say we are going, some people, it was almost 50-50, but they still had to go because at the end of the day, it was victory. It... Uh, Particularly, I think either Caesar was 55. Yes. Now, Montenegro was part of Serbia. Serbia and Montenegro was together. 2006, they agreed, no, we are not going to be together again because it wasn't working. It wasn't working. These things are, I can even tell you the countries that you know today. That, that, uh, Montenegro and uh, uh, Serbia are doing well. You talk about India and Pakistan here. India and Pakistan. Today, you can see that India is doing very well. In fact, India is one of the Asian states that uh, the West cannot interfere in their internal affairs anyhow. No. 
India is very strong now with Modi. Because they had to agree. They said, no, we have little divergence of cultural practices and uh, political system. But I think all of them are still uh, uh, pro-socialist. Uh, you can see that the because of little cultural practice and religious uh, difference, Pakistan said we cannot continue because they are pro-Islamic. And Israel is pro-Hindu. The in that was is it a far something um, 1947 that was 1947 now even Pakistan that came out of India at a point the the, the they are brothers they are brothers from within themselves say uh, no Bangladesh Bangladesh say no we cannot because we also have slight difference and we can do comfortably well as neighbors as brother states and they carved out and no nothing happened they are existing why are you you want to stick together or to, to the kingdom come uh, 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 what do you call them um the the bangladesh people are they not doing well the pakistani are they not producing it's nigeria producing they are, they are producing bangladesh is, uh, pakistan is producing they are, they are doing well in technology yes they their, their government might not be very economically uh, strong now, but they are producing. It's a producing state. We don't have all the things we have, but they're doing well. India is doing well. India, India is buying anything they need as a nation, as a strong nation. You list the list of uh, uh, strong nations in the world. India is there. When you discuss international politics, India is there. Nigeria is a puppet. And we are strong people, we are dear friends, we are bold, we are brave people, we are scholars, we are super intelligent race. We cannot continue to undermine our natural gifts, natural endowments. We cannot continue to allow ourselves to, uh, to be a, a, a set back because we want to... Uh, 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 we want to the democracy they, they, are, they are telling you about, they tell you about democracy. Oh, the uh, Niger military junctures obstructed democracy. What is democracy? Is democracy not best defined by uh, 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 American, by an American? Is it not uh, 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 a Lincoln who gave you the best definition? It is a government by the people and for the people. Are you, were you blind that... Were you blind to see that the people trooped out a mass to support the military junta? So, is it the man who doesn't have any kind of any iota kind of popularity that they they rigged into position of authority? That is the man on, 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 on democracy. When you go to Burkina Faso, when you go to Mali, see how these people that are called military junta by the West are enjoying the mass support of their people overwhelmingly. The people, 90% plus, were running around the people because they represent their interest against the, the pillars that France installed, the West installed over them, who continue to help them machinate their treacherous and, 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 and nefarious evil activities within the borders of africa these are people they're telling us about democracy what nonsense democracy we are talking about okay when they keep telling you tell them that you know more other countries that came out from referendum from 1990 to today i call the uh, india pakistan is just because it is boiling in my head to tell you that many countries many things have happened within the space of time and before then mm -hmm. It has happened and it's, it, it will continue to happen at Biafra this time, this period, according to our time as allowed by God in heaven, we are going. You can see where, where graduates, the only thing a graduate can do is to, to, to take a care and paper and do high purchase. Just two days ago or three days ago, a man, I think I ran no he was just a KK driver. He slumped where he took a bottle of beer. He slumped because he is doing higher purchase. He has been restless for over six years trying to repay uh, the, the, the owner of the 
a keke na pepe. Imagine a graduate. A graduate in a country where we have one Nigeria. We have stack illiterates are occupying sensitive offices in Nigerian federal uh, uh, appointment and, 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 and works. You call that one Nigeria. Some people have more opportunities to better life. When you hear they say they are giving that yeah, and, and, and and the foreign reserve will be used. They know they, they know people to give the monies in the foreign reserve and people not to give to. They decide. It's not left for the market. You can see that kind of one Nigerian. No. We are not part of it, definitely. Definitely. We cannot be part of it. You will release Marvin Nandekano by the sovereign status of Biafra. Nigeria goes very helpless. Nigeria will be helpless. Once Nigeria and Biafra gets the sovereign status, Marvin Nandekano will be... Uh, uh, will be gifted or sorry will be given to their friends no case about that mm -hmm. you can see that your courts are failed everything done in the courts are useless you can see that a lot of people our evil elders who made their last wishes and they eventually died these wishes was not granted of bed more is there uh, you have um uh, the, 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 the one of the finest uh, Amechi, Bazulika Amechi you have a, 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 a what do you call him, the old Anambra governor sorry um, you have um, Okwadike all of these elders our real elders they came to tell the government of Nigeria that this man is defending the interests of his people, that he represents the oppressed people of Igbo land and Biafra land in general. That we should release him. Release him to us. The Nigerian government insisted. That is the political solution. Now, the legal framework said that this man is not found wanting of anything. But they said no. He will still be there. Instead, the Supreme Court, after even discharging him, still said he should be referred back to higher court, to uh, a P court. Can you see? And you want us to keep on speaking grammar? No. Those people sending you China Samuru, tell them they have failed. When you China Samuru came to condemn uh, Ejimako, Ejimako, Nandekano's legal counsel. Oh, that they want to endanger Nandekano. Please listen to this part also. He said, China Samuru said that Ejimako want to endanger Martin Nandekano. He want to imprison him. That's what they are planning. I see if he loves him, they can Right? They want to imprison him with all this clear nonsense of court, court, court issue. But it was him that was telling us that their barristers are working. They are paying their barristers uh, because the Karuites, who was part of them, who he was machinating the whole evil. Karuites, now you see him before today, before Nandi Kano, did Karuites own anything? Karuites now is a billionaire. You saw him in club with Akokoko. You see him loads, bundles upon bundles of money. You saw him, you didn't see the video. I will not show you. Go and look for the video. You will see it is trending online. Caroline is Carol White is now a billionaire. He is paying in the level of Obi Kubanas. Bundles upon bundles of money. Blocks. Not just raps. Bundles. He will do it and bring it and throw it, bring it and say, oh. This these people did it. They did it. He did not one day condemn Carol White because he is Carol White is in his team. When Carol White was busy pushing and machinating his evil going to the court, China Samoru did not comment. Because only do already now realize that Carol White and China Samoru are all the ones behind his ordeal. Now China Samuru is coming out to tell their friends, oh, that these people will succeed in pushing on Yendo behind bars. While when then he came out to condemn uh, a fine boy and uh, Kano Takano, that's now the Kano's uh, siblings and relatives. He did not in any way even mistakenly tell you that his DOS members are in Nigeria. 
He said the fine boy is going freely. The same Biafra that um, man the canoe is pursuing that landed him in jail. But fine fine boy is going freely. Um, Kano uh, 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 Takano is going freely. Hey, that um, that tells you that these people are not with us. They are sabotaging us. They are telling us, hey, Iken Guruago is in Nigeria. Before Ikenga went to Nigeria, he told us that China Sangoru and Chika Dozen visited Nigeria. Ikenga bragged about it on social media, on, on YouTube. He challenged Simon Ekpa to come. If he is a strong man, he should also come the way Udogu have come to Nigeria. He challenged. Now he is pointing to us that fine boy is moving even with government convoys. He, China Sangoru, referred us to this man, uh, 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 this man that was voting during the election, that he would send uh, uh, six healers vans, that he would deal with, uh, if you see anyway, Simon Nepal boys. What is that, his name? Um, uh, is it uh, Iran, Irania or whatever? The man that was always with Ifani, uh, uh, the Karwite. If you remember, you should know who I'm talking about, uh, uh, what is his name. But he did not tell us that that man is in Abuja. That that man is using Nigerian convoy, Nigerian security to move around. The same Nigerian uh, convoy that he used in the election, he said he would deal with Simon Ekpa's boys if they uh, dare stop the election. The, the Nigerian DOS, the one Nigerian DOS, the, the IPOB DOS, uh, IPOB Nigeria. <laughs> now you can see that they are deceiving and playing with our intelligence. I can continue on and on. After Montenegro comes back from Serbia, the both of them went their separate ways in 2006. In 2008, just yesterday, Montenegro, Kosovo, comes out from the same Serbia. Serbia that just parted away from Montenegro. 2008. The same way India, Pakistan comes out from India, and just after a few years, about more than 10 years, uh, 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 another people cover from the same Pakistan, Bangladesh. So it is not a tug of war, but anyone who wants to make it war, let it be. Because no one's own interest supersedes that of others. It is our interest, it is our decision that we are leaving Nigeria. That is final. That is final. So we are not mentioning South Sudan because they will always use the uh, unprogressive nature of South Sudan. And of course, it is because they are ending up with Sinana. The people China and Lord want us to go and join. They are ending up with Sinana. I mean, the extremists for that matter. So we, we are not um, uh, using such models. No. We are progressives. So when they tell you it is not possible, tell them what I have said. Give them from my teachings today. Give them water, water, bomba to bomba. When they come and uh, permit me to say, Okuneru, somewhere, go and check all those military checkpoints where they are dealing with us. And um, uh, Obinibu is helping us. People are going for judgment. And um, <laughs> they are armored cars. And they are, they are bringing more jet fighters. Like these ones, uh -huh. America is giving them. We have confirmed it, three evidences. So they will, uh, they will go the way they will go. We are here. Freedom, freedom. We are not losing focus. Thank you, Akman Akman Asoko, from Biafra Radical Freedom TV. Coming your way, please. Endeavor to share, comment, like. And of course, subscribe. Thank you.